Hey friends and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna probably be a little all over the place, but first off, I want to mention crypto over this weekend has been pushing higher. Bitcoin specifically, now over 28,000. I did want to show you something here on the chart, but we have also a lot of things to look forward to here. But just quickly glancing through CoinMarketCap, you can see over the last seven days, we have a lot of green on these cryptos with only a few red outliers. Now I wanted to show you something on the chart for Bitcoin before we get into a couple things to look forward to. First off, we entered this weekend right around, you know, 25,000, 26,000. People weren't really expecting a whole lot, just not a whole lot going on. And then suddenly here today, we just started getting this nice move. Now we're starting to cool off of 28,000, but it does look like we're finding resistance at the 50 MA. One thing that I'm still watching for, I don't know if it'll hit or not, but I do still see the possibility for us to come through to the 25s before bouncing off of this nice channel that we've created. And the bottom part of this channel, this yellow line does pretty much line up with the 200 MA. So could we see a retest of the 200 MA like we saw back in March where we went from about 25,000 all the way down under 20,000 before quickly running all the way back up to create new recent highs. And also you'll notice that the MACD is now curling. We might see more of a bullish move here in the next couple of days. And that'd be great for some of the crypto miners. Once we get into the new week for stocks starting on Tuesday, we do have one more day off for stocks. And for me, it's been quite a long weekend. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how some of these crypto miners will do if Bitcoin can continue pushing throughout the rest of this Sunday throughout the rest of Monday and into the market on Tuesday. But let me know in the comments below if you think this is all gonna get taken back by the time the market opens and the Bitcoin miners become unaffected by this little move that we saw over the weekend. Now from a chart standpoint, Bitcoin to me looks great. We are still above a rising 200 MA. However, we are finding resistance here at the 50 MA and it is descending now. If we can get just a little more push, this descending 50 MA can become and ascending MA again, but we're really looking for that breakout of the 50 here. And you'll notice lately Bitcoin is, you know, a lot of the times, Bitcoin loves to trade patterns. We were looking at the beginning of May, we were consolidating here, tightening up, we were creating lower highs, but also higher lows, we were consolidating. Once we broke this pattern, the market had a clear reaction to the break of that pattern. But before I make this whole video about technicals, let's look into some recent news. Now, first off, we're gonna stick on Bitcoin and then we'll get into a couple of other random things that are coming up here. So some of you might have or might have not heard about is China Central Television airing something about crypto in a positive light too, which is something you don't always see. And I'll leave this down below for you. I'll leave everything I go over, at least almost everything I go over down below. But just reading this really quickly, on May 23rd, State Broadcasting Corporation China Central Television aired a segment on the adoption of cryptocurrencies in Hong Kong. As reported in the segment, Hong Kong regulators have made final preparations for the trading of virtual assets in the special administrative region and will accept applications from virtual asset trading platforms. If you didn't know, you will be able to do trading in Hong Kong as a retail investor and a lot of exchanges are lining up to join this system. Now if you don't think it's a big deal that CCTV aired this segment about Hong Kong, just listen to this tweet from CZ or read this tweet from CZ. China Central Television just broadcasted crypto. It's a big deal. The Chinese speaking communities are buzzing. Historically, coverages like these have led to bull runs. But let me know guys, I'm curious if this recent news with Hong Kong is Partly what's causing Bitcoin to rally. What do you think about that? And do you think coming up into the end of May, we're going to see a little more hype in Bitcoin in anticipation of this news? Let me know in the comments below and let's look at a couple other things going on. And it's not a stock picks by Tim video without a mention of CleanSpark. I did want to remind you guys that their mining update is coming out within the next couple of days. So look out for that. I will be covering it. But one thing we're facing up against is we need to break this $5 area and hold it. I think a nice push above five would be very bullish for CleanSpark. And on this stock, we're already above a 200 and a 50 MA. And if Bitcoin does continue to push throughout the rest of this weekend, I do think on Tuesday, CleanSpark can see a bit of a rally. It would not surprise me in the least, but I talk about CleanSpark more than enough. So let's look at a couple other things going on. Voyager customers will finally be able to withdraw our crypto starting on June 1. And hopefully the next time I talk about this, people are actually receiving their crypto and we don't see some kind of strange last second back out. To me, it just always sounds too good to be true with the deal going through with FTX, with the deal going through with Binance, you know, all these things just get shot down by the SEC. You know, Binance backed out, FTX just had a huge implosion. And to me, it just seems like any good news just is too good to be true. But I really hope on June 1st, 
people are able to start withdrawing their crypto out of Voyager Digital. And I also wanted to talk about ChargePoint. They are going to be reporting earnings here on June 1st. And if I do find the time, I will be covering it. I might even get their earnings call, cut it up, clean it up for you guys, put it on the Discord or something. But this will be an interesting quarter because they are expecting the first decline in revenue in almost as long as I've ever been with this company. I'm talking about years. So that'll be a bit disappointing if we do finally see a sequential or quarter over quarter decline in revenue. That would not be good, especially for a money burning company like charge point however despite that i remain very bullish on this company we are in the middle of an ev revolution and i think charge point will benefit very greatly by the switch from gas to ev cars and despite likely having a decline revenue quarter over quarter we are still very very likely to see a huge increase year over year and i do expect that you know despite this likely hiccup this quarter we're still going to see revenue grow for the most part quarter over quarter and always year over year. I like the executives here. They've been here for years and years and years. This is a well-established company that's been out for over a decade and it isn't just a simple EV startup. This will definitely be an interesting earnings to cover and who knows, we may even hear about some talks of profitability sometime in 2024 or something. But I do believe they have the cash they need at hand to make it through to that point. And I do think the market, you know, just talking about the economy, things like that, I do think those things will improve. For some of these money burning companies, once the Fed starts lowering rates, I do see a run into these small caps. They're certainly very high risk as any of these companies having to take out money, they all have to do so at a very high interest rate. And what's the other choice besides doing that? Well, the other choice would be dilution. That's something shareholders do not want. So I do believe, you know, as we get throughout the rest of this year, once we start hearing talks of lowering interest rates, which I do think is at least a few months away, no doubt. But once we start hearing that, I do think we're gonna get a pile into these small caps and we may get anticipation of that even sooner. But I'll leave it at that, guys. Let me know what you're looking out for in the market. And as a side note, keep an eye on these Chinese Bitcoin miners because this Hong Kong news and of course CCTV broadcasting it, I think is huge news for just everything regarding Bitcoin and China. And I have a long time viewer that made that pretty, you know, pretty apparent to me that we should be keeping an eye on these Chinese Bitcoin miners as we get some hype into Hong Kong, as we get more of a focus on Bitcoin and China. But thanks as always for watching guys. Hope you got something out of this. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. We have one more day after today to go to wait for the stock market to open. So kick back, enjoy your free time. I actually have my first day off here on Monday, so that's exciting for me. Finally get a break. But thanks so much guys, and I will see you later.